you teach your children to be financially savvy and at what age? Many older kids have summer jobs and even little ones get an allowance, oh, right? Yes. Stacy Kaiser, a psychotherapist and editor at Large for Live Happy, joins us now with some tips and advice for parents of children, both young and old. So we start with leading by example because, you know, you have to be concerned not just about your physical health, we're talking about your financial health too. Lead by example. So many parents don't think about financial health and it is important. And I always say that children learn what they live. Uh -huh. And so what they're seeing you do is the most important. So they're just watching us swipe now. They're watching us Venmo. They don't even see real cash. Uh. A lot of them don't know what a check is. And so it's really, really important that they see that we're being responsible about it, that we're talking about it, and that we're using it in the most healthy way we possibly can. Your second tip is get them involved in age appropriate household shopping and expenditures. My dad, when we would go to the grocery store, he'd always say, everybody guess what the bill's going to be. It got us involved. I actually think that's brilliant. I also yeah. think it's important to teach your kids couponing and about saving money and why are you buying this ketchup and not that ketchup because <laughs> it's on sale this week or why are you buying four of those ketchups this week to store right. in your cabinet. But it's really about taking them shopping. It's about talking to them about what are those new shoes going to cost and what does that mean? Mm -hmm. So a little discussion. Yes. A little mm -hmm. discussion. Okay. Uh, talking about allowance here. So is allowance, like how old do you start, is it okay to start giving a, a child an allowance? Yeah, I think that as soon as your kids start to become aware of, not just pointing at the TV, that they want something, they saw in a commercial, but they start becoming aware of money and what they want, that's a time to give them an allowance. So you can start with 50 cents or a dollar and give them some chores to go along with it so that they begin to learn how to sort of acquire money, to touch money, to know what it means to collect money and have money. But it's getting them to understand the value of that, though, because, you know, giving them a 50 cents, knowing what that could pay for or what it took to get that. Right. We'll talk more about that a little bit later. Okay. But yes, 100 percent. It isn't just about holding the money. It's about understanding that money actually exists, because as, as I talked about earlier, nowadays everything is so virtual that a lot of kids I know are just happy to sign the credit card machine. They don't understand mm -hmm. that it's actually withdrawing money from their so, paycheck oh of their parents. Gosh. You know, you know what does fifty cents buy, right? <laughs> That's all I thought. But it's, I think <laughs> it, it, it's adding it up. Right. Um, uh, set aside a portion, save money. Set aside a portion of the money. Teach them how to do that. So after you've given your kids allowance, what you want to teach them is some money is to spend and some money is to save. And I also think it's nice for them to give some money to charity as well. So oftentimes I encourage parents to really have like three piggy banks or three jars and that the kids put a portion of money in for, you know, that new toy they want or the new trip to the amusement park. And then there's a pile that's going to be saved, that is going to be for the long term, maybe some, a bigger item or for their own college or something like that and then something also to give to others to give to people that don't have as much as we do but you're it, talking jars how about a bank account <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm it's thinking hard. bigger yes when you have an older child you can do a bank account okay um, yes you can have a bank account for a four-year-old but it's harder for them to see and so part of what I like about the jar thing I guess I'm Got talking it. for the elementary school Got age it. child mm -hmm. would be that it is visual once you have a child that's middle school or high schooler you absolutely can do yeah. the bank account right you can actually visually see the money accumulate yes. and, and watch it and get excited mm -hmm. Yes. that they're actually mm -hmm. yes. seeing a piggy bank get filled up. Right. Mm -hmm. um, finally, important to communicate. It's all about communication, really. Yeah, you know, so much of us are busy with our lives. We're busy juggling things. We're busy doing things that we aren't actually having the conversations. And so it's really important that we communicate with our kids. It's important that we talk to them about money, what you were saying, that we talk to them about the value of money and what it means and why it's important and how people have to work to get money and that money isn't just something that really grows on trees. Mm -hmm. All right, next time you can come in, let's um, talk about how we can explain the entire taxation system to our teenagers. <laughs> exactly, because I know they don't understand that either. Adults don't do it. Let's review this. Lead by example, mm -hmm. get them involved, give them an allowance. Set aside uh, for various goals, meaning save some money. Also, teach them how to save and communicate. Yeah, teaching kids about money. Very important. Thank Very you. important. Very important. Thanks for coming in, Stacey. Thanks, it was Stacey. really good to have you.